So you have to ask yourself, would I still chase this dream if I knew that it would take 10 years to achieve? Like, whew. <laughs> Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about the myth of the overnight success and what inspired me to talk about this today is just looking at Sabrina Carpenter like her music is everywhere now, she's on a world tour, she's on red carpets, she's dating this like A-list actor and I was kind of like what is the origin like where did this girl come from because it just looks like she blew up overnight right and in doing research I saw that she actually released her first single guys 10 years ago it was called can't blame a girl for trying it came out in 2014 but it took 10 years right now 2024 for us to suddenly hear her name everywhere and see her everywhere and that's what i want you guys to really understand it's like all these people that we see like oh my god they blew up overnight it seems like they got you know famous really quickly or successful really quickly and a lot of times we don't know all the hard work that they've been doing underground for years without us knowing their name knowing who they are knowing any Anything about them hearing their work seeing their work whatever it is but they've been putting in that work and then when it's finally time for their moment to shine then it looks like oh my god must have been overnight another good example of this is our girl Victoria Monet I think she was an accepting an award I think a Grammy and she's talking about how she'd been working in LA for 15 years guys 15 years and it took that much time for the, her to suddenly be recognized in the industry and winning these awards and just now starting to hit her stride and get commercial success and she likened herself to sort of a plant that had been growing its stems underground its roots underground and nobody was seeing all that work that was happening beneath the surface but she was getting stronger and just like spreading her roots and everything and now finally she's above ground it was such a beautiful analogy she made and really helps you to understand what that sort of overnight success looks like is like no one sees the roots of your dream and sees how much you're working and everything that's going on underground and then when you're above ground and you're a pretty flower it's like oh my god wow this flower sprouted out of nowhere and you don't realize all that work that's been happening underground for years so it's a question i really hard to start thinking and asking myself it's like would i still want my dreams if i knew it'll take 10 years to achieve i have another quote here from bill gates which says we often underestimate what we can achieve in 10 years but overestimate what we can do in a year. So I think a lot of times it's like, oh, by the end of the year, I'm gonna have done this, I'm gonna have done this, I'm gonna have done this, and you overestimate how much you can actually do in a year, but then we do the reverse and underestimate how much we can do in 10 years. Like all those little steps, all those baby steps, just incrementally getting you closer to your goal. And it's just like, if you knew now from today that it's gonna take you 10 years, you know that dream that you have in your mind, in your head, if you knew that it'll take 10 years, would you still want to achieve it? Like literally just pause this video and ask yourself that. Because I think a lot of people, a lot of us like want to quit when we don't see those instant results, right? Like it gets very hard. We get doubt from other people, people trying to discourage us like, oh, you've been doing this thing for so long. It's still not working out. How long are you going to keep doing it? And a lot of times also we're getting doubt from ourselves. It's like, it's like, oh my God, like I've been trying. It's been two years now. It's been three years. Maybe this thing isn't for me. Like we start and talk ourselves out of it because it's just so hard to stay and play the long game but it's really only in the long game that you can see those results that you're looking to get i just like to liken it to like sabrina carpenter and victoria monet just getting ready for prime time right it's like all those let's say let's just average it out to 10 years like 10 years of them working putting out songs maybe nobody hears about it but they're getting better at song writing they're getting better at singing they're getting ready um, better at performing just all of that and then when it's time for their moment to shine it's like they're ready because they've actually been putting in the work so like i said in my previous video where i talked about you know not wanting success in instantly because are you even ready for it are you even prepared for it like you want a huge social media platform are you even ready for what comes with that or if you want this big career or you want this big promotion are you actually ready for it so that's like into the sabrina carpenter and victoria monet situation where it's like all that time they spent cultivating their craft and getting better getting better at press getting ready at just the craft y'all because so many people will be popping up and it's like okay the talent really isn't there you just had this quick viral moment you're just famous but then now we're on stage we don't have breath control you know our choreos all over the place like y'all are not really ready imagine having your moment in the and people are just like okay she wasn't yet ready like that's worst nightmare so you want to spend those 10 years these 10 years that you're working on your goal and waiting for it to come into fruition getting better at your craft and just preparing like you're literally waiting for your moment in the sun where you come out and you're so good at what you're doing that everyone's like oh my god you blow up overnight and you're like actually i've been working on this for 10 years this episode's gonna be full of quotes so another quote that i have from the footballer Messi.
Jersey or soccer to Americans is it took me 17 years and 114 days to become an overnight success. So again, even the people that are there now that are successful are letting you guys know that, you know, it looks like it came easy. It looks like it came overnight, but this is years and years and years of hard work and consistency that is now paying off. And if you think about, you know, the media, and of course we can blame the media for this. The media just loves an overnight success. They just love to talk about this person as if they just dropped out of the sky and all of a sudden they have all these awards or accolades and we don't really document and take time to be like, wait, what was their journey in getting here? And then you like research, go on Wikipedia and you see the story of how they got to where they are, the rejections. They were sleeping on their friend's couch, losing jobs, like this producer rejected them or this setback happened because that doesn't make like a great shiny story, right? We just want to see the ready-made star and not see all the setbacks that it took them to get to where they are. So I would encourage you, honestly, if there's anyone out there that you sort of like their journey, you, you like where they are now. So if it's an entrepreneur, it's someone in your career or field, um, if you're in the creative field, it's a fellow creator, whatever it is, go back and do research on their story. Like go check on Wikipedia if they have a Wikipedia page and read the journey on how they got there. Like it's only very few people that it was dumb luck and they literally just literally got famous overnight. For even the ones that got famous overnight, let's see where they are now like and if they were able to sustain that. But go back and check everyone's journey and see how it influenced where they are now and even if it's not someone famous like you're a scientist or a doctor or, you know one of those fields that's not like has a lot of it's not like a famous person where you can easily research your story like have a talk with them if there's a doctor where you're working and you just like they have a great career you're seeing everything talk to them about their journey like ask them like about how they got to where they are and i'm sure they have their own setbacks and things that they can share with you as well so if there's anyone out there that you like their work you like their business and you're just like wow it seems like they got here so quick it seems like they know what they're doing it seems like they've never made mistakes it seems like they've never been discouraged just talk to them and i promise you they'll have a different story to tell if you're a Beyonce stan like I am, this is a Beyonce stan channel, um, there are a few videos that go around on TikTok where it shows the evolution of her singing Dangerously in Love from like when she first started out to now as a 40 something year old woman. And y'all, it keeps getting better as she gets older because her voice is maturing, her breath control is getting better. You just keep getting better with time, like, and you cannot cheat time. So how she sings Dangerously in Love at 25 years old, that's probably the best she could do at that time. And it still sounds great, right? But then as she keeps going, it just keeps getting better because she's just growing and there's just more evolution over time. So at 30 years old, she sounds better. This sound sounds different. 35, and now listening to it on the Renaissance concert at 40 something years old, y'all, it sounds the best it ever sounded. And that again, just proves to you that things take time. You do need those 10 years to continue to work on your craft, to grow, to develop it. So don't let that discourage you, honestly. like. Now I've started reframing those 10 years and using that as a motivator. Another thing is it's actually helped me relax and not put too much pressure on myself because before it would be like, okay, I need to reach this thing now. Like I need to get there right now. I need to have the social media following now. I need to have the business. I need to have the dream job, the dream house, the dream car. And I started doing research on other social media creators and other business owners, just really seeing like, okay, how long did it really take y'all to get to where you are? And it took them years. Like if you want to be a YouTuber, for example, like I promise you go back and scroll if the creator hasn't deleted it but go back and scroll on your favorite youtubers page like their channel and scroll down all the way to the bottom and just check when their first video was posted i promise you if they're popping up if they're popping up like now or last year their first video is probably from a good eight to ten years ago and they've been posting since then you didn't know who they were and now they're everywhere and you don't realize they've been posting on youtube for almost 10 years now i think what i'm learning from success is that it takes commitment and it takes time and it takes you sticking to your dream no matter the setbacks no matter the self-doubt you feel no matter the rejections that you get like you're like still committed to your dream and knowing that it's going to happen for you i can't imagine with like sabrina carpenter and victoria monet i can't imagine all the setbacks they face i'm sure they had moments where they were very close to wanting to give up and it's like they had to keep motivating themselves and reminding themselves of their dream to get to where they are because one thing i do know is like if you give up you're definitely not reaching your dream but if you don't you could reach it like the chances are really high so definitely stay committed to your dream stay committed 
to your goal for yourself, to the life you want for yourself, and I'm very sure it can happen. And again, just reminding you guys to be patient. Anytime I tell you guys these things, it's actually a reminder to myself as well. It's I need to be patient, I need to be kind to myself. Just be, just enjoy where I am now. Enjoy the present, enjoy this phase where you're working and you're grinding and you're waiting for your overnight success moment to come. And just be patient with yourself and more importantly, stick to your vision know what your dream is, know where your vision is. More importantly, also know why you want to accomplish that vision and dream. Make sure it's coming from you within, from a pure place. It's not coming from like wanting to compete with others. It's not coming from comparing yourself. It's not coming from social media telling you what you should want or where your dream should be. It should be coming from within. So before you even do anything, before you embark on your 10 year journey, I want you to reflect, do some meditation, journal, and really think about your life and the things that drive you the things that make you happy and envision your life 10 years from now what you want to be doing where you want to be just make sure it's coming from a pure and authentic point of view it's coming from within it's coming from you for real y'all because you'll be amazed at how much social media and other people can actually influence us without us realizing so make sure it's coming from you before you embark on your journey just like change your thinking to be like it's gonna take 10 years like tell yourself it's gonna take 10 years for you to get above ground it could happen quicker but just have 10 years in your mind and just enjoy the journey and enjoy where you are right now keep working on your craft keep getting better and just be having fun in the meantime y'all as always i'm gonna end by reminding you that you're doing just fine where you are right now and you're deserving of all good things and you're deserving of love so love on yourself more importantly receive love from others and i'll see you in my next video